Today is Sunday the 13th. It is currently about 6.30 a.m. Uh, I am up because I am on my way up to Columbus this morning for the One Piece Store Regional at Dragon's Lair. Now, the actual Store Regional doesn't start till noon. I've already sent in my deck list. However, I am going up to see my friend Alex. We're going to go get a workout in and go to lunch, and then I'm going to go play in the Store Regional. So there is some merit for me to be up this early on a Sunday. I'm already in my workout clothes. So what I'm going up in. I do have to go get gas, so let's go grab a hat and hit the road. Good morning. Can I get a medium iced black coffee, please? Uh, medium but, iced black? Yes, but can I get that in a large cup? Medium iced coffee? Thank you so much. You're welcome. You have a great day. You too. Doctor this up before we hit the road. Just black iced coffee. And then I actually have been getting this and putting my protein shakes in in the morning. Fantastic. So I have this Premier Protein, this is uh, chocolate chip cookie dough. I need one of those sticky mounts for uh, for like right here to give you guys kind of a better angle, but you know, we, we work with what we got here. Bada bing, bada boom, coffee with protein shake ready to go. Oh, always hits. Okay, off to Columbus. Columbus's own handsome devil, huh? Let's go. post-workout and man I love Alex I really do he's like one of my favorite people and he is such a great friend but working out with him is terrible bro he told me light shoulder day and just starts repping 90s I tell everybody that meets Alex that he is real life all might he did have a situation at work where he saved somebody's life and dude's just jack so I'm like you're just real life all might but actually working out with him today like he that just solidifies what I say. Anyway, him and I are gonna go get something to eat and then uh, I head to the store regional and see if I can earn my invite for nationals without playing in the last chance qualifier. This is their signature Dave sauce here. I'm gonna try it with a fry first. Dave sauce is solid. Silverware is no match for the chicken. We're just got to go straight into it here. Really good. Their hot has a good kick to it too. Big fan. Again, Alex, you never steered me wrong when it comes to chicken. And has the Eddie North seal approval. It's got to be good, you know. All right, checked in, paid, ready to go. Three packs of 07 just for playing. So uh, we're gonna open these up really quickly. I think this is another leader pack. It is, dude. I hate it here. Frankie. Okay. Well, it's not the worst SR to pull. We'll take that. Are you, are you, am I, are you getting are me you as a wizard? The, the, are you the lizard? Or am I the wizard? Lizard people are all real. It, you look like you. <laughs> What's the play today, Luke? Uh, purple Luffy. You feel confident in purple Luffy? If I had black, sure. <laughs> Magellan's pretty crazy. <laughs> I feel confident in Magellan. <laughs> yeah. Other Luffy. What is the play today? I'm playing black, yellow Luffy, and I have played the deck four times. So it's just Sabo and Craig. Yeah, probably. <laughs> A lot of people can't beat an 11k base leader. You're not wrong. Luchimir round one, we took the L. They had the six cost Brook response for both the Sabos that I played uh, on back-to-back -back turns, and I just couldn't come back from there without a blocker on the field. It just wasn't a great showing. I didn't find any of my events to reduce cost until like really late in the game. So uh, hoping to get the first tail out of the way and it's just smooth sailing from here. I think you have to go 4-2 to get top 16. Uh, if I did the math correctly, I think that's that's what we have to do. But you know, ultimately we're shooting for top four to get that invite. I don't know if we're gonna do a top cut or not, but uh, round one is over in one minute. So we're gonna hop right into round two here. Round two just started. As you can see, I'm walking out of the store. Uh, we received a buy for round two, which is just a free win just a free win so we'll take that i don't really know how it's going to look tiebreaker wise and if this buy comes back to bite me and uh I, I don't know they aren't pokemon i don't know about bandai 
I don't know how Bandai treats them in the, the system, but you know, comes back to bite me. I don't make top 16 or whatever. It is what it is. Either way, 1-1 one, one right now. Lost the mirror match in Lucci round one. Round two by. We're actually gonna go check out another store that's in like the same area while everyone's playing. Well, one three drop in my first ever store regional for one piece. And I am starting to learn that I really just need to pick a deck and just play it, dude. Like I need to stop like bouncing around and being like, oh, this deck looks fun. Like I need to quit all of that and just try really hard and just like really focus on one deck and just learn the in and outs of it. Cause I think that's ultimately was what causing this slip up. Cause again, dude, like Pokemon and one piece like i am just not doing well and it's aggravating because it's stuff where it's like it's in my control and i'm not doing well I, and honestly like i think that's what is the most infuriating thing about my performance as of late in any card game is because it's all stuff that's in my control like two games today like i'm in a very winnable position if i just like read cards and do the correct play but i didn't so i lost i don't know dude i guess back to the drawing board i'm going to uh play around with Lucci a little bit uh probably play into Dofi kind of see what I can do but man like these performances are not it it's not the standard that I hold myself to so it's just really really aggravating after a week hiatus I'm officially heading back to Monster for Pokemon Locals I said on Sunday that like really I just needed to lock in right and i think what i was trying to do is get too cute with my deck choice when trying to decide something to play when i've just been kind of ignoring a card that i have been excited about since the release that kind of flopped on release and is now one of the best decks in the format that being Dragapult EX. Now, over the past few days, I have put in a ton of games online with Dragapult. i was playing the winning list from dormant uh, ruiz list insane insane there's so many times where i am like looking at my hand and i draw an arvin and i go oh, okay well that's just game dust nor might be the most powerful card that i've played with ever in the pokemon tcg like seriously i think that i would put that above like the shady dealings and telling online i would put that above maybe even genesect v like the card can just be such a game changer especially in a deck like dragapult where you spread around damage a lot i'm taking four prize turns a lot more than i should now i am still waiting on cards for my dragapult deck to be done the mail has not come yet today and it is uh 6 30 so i don't have those cards unfortunately however matt does have the deck built and said that i can borrow his deck tonight so let's go play some dragapult what you got uh, oh you got buzz baby baby where is the baby? Oh. What about this baby? Yeah. yeah. It's cold out. Hoodie season is officially here in Cincinnati. I could not be happier. I'm, uh, you know, I'm bringing back fit checks this week. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm bringing back fit checks. I'm not the only one late. Makes me feel a little bit better. But it does mean that locals is changing from three rounds best of three to four rounds best of one. So uh, we'll see how it goes. So Mooney, you're telling me that you go to the parking garage in Louisville and this is just laying there. So yeah, I just walk over to the steps to get out of the parking garage, see this line on the ground. I wait there for a couple minutes, so they think someone's gonna come back and claim it. Nobody does. Sorry to the random person who dropped their mat in the parking garage. It is now Waltz, take it up with him. I'm now the proud over of a Cinderace mat. I want to start locals, play Pidgeot Control, and they zero six my huge hand down to everything, and then just soft lock me the rest of the game. So nothing really that I could do, and that kind of sucks. But it is what it is. Anyway, just for playing price pack, see if this can make up for it a little bit. I think I have played this. I don't know why.
Yeah, I mean, no, that's it's an okay pack. Rescue board's pretty cool though. I'll take that. Cole also picked this up for me because of the uh, the belly bolt promo. Sorry. It just looks really cool. So we'll go ahead and open this real quick too. There's the belly bolt and all of its glory. We'll take the reverse poppin'. With everyone being late, Simon did change it to four rounds, best of one. So it is only 30 minute rounds. But uh, it's the best of one blues already. It feels like one piece on Sunday all over again. But we're gonna try to steer the ship, try to make our way to a 3 1 finish tonight, hopefully. The real question, Cole, is do we drop? We won't play. <laughs> <laughs> No, what what do you want to do? Don't play One Piece without me. I want to play One Piece. I watch me go 4-0 and I'm not gonna go play One Piece today. So it's really funny because that's exactly what happened, and he did not play One Piece. But I'm I'm saying do we do we drop for the Gundam drop at nine? Uh, I guess it depends on how long the game takes. It's only 30 minute rounds. We should be fine. Best of one. Best of, Best of one. one 30 minute rounds. We should be fine. We should be fine. We should be fine. Everything should be fine. And we got Beyblades in the truck too. You brought Beyblades? I told you I brought Beyblades. Wait, did, did you get uh, Wizard Wand from Natalie yet? No, I haven't seen them yet. Where's Luke, dude? I don't, I don't know. Okay, here, gentlemen's agreement right now. No Wizard Arrow if we play Beyblades. Gentlemen's agreement. Okay. Good. I got a new Keel Shark though. Pack fresh, mint. Another week that I start O2 at Locals, I just lost to Roaring Moon, and I don't know if it's best of one, I don't know what it is. I was really confident in Dragapult going into this tournament. Um, I, I don't know kind of where my head's at, if I'm being honest with you. I got the moment I don't want to play Pokemon at all. So yeah, it's kind of where we're at. And I've never, like, I've been, tired of formats right but I've never been to the point where I'm just like done with playing completely and that's just kind of where I'm I'm at at the moment I think we'll see we'll give it another few weeks and if I still feel like this in the next couple of weeks then you know maybe I'll just start leaning like super hard into the judge side of it and you know bind to the cards and put the cards down but oh two went ahead and dropped uh, I just I I don't want to play Pokemon. <laughs> I know Noel wanted to play some One Piece, so I'll kind of go see where where he's at and uh, maybe start playing some One Piece then. Hey, wait a minute. This card isn't released yet. Oh! Don't play One Piece without me. <laughs> Don't play One Piece without me. Yeah, Just casually goes 4-0 in local. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up, Noel. On my map. All right. With the with the with with that that you can never have. With the window. Yeah, with the window. You can with the have. window. Okay. Do we just go back to playing Yu-Gi-Oh, dude? Is that the play? Never the never the play. <laughs> never again, dog. Time for half price apps with the boys. Hmm? Because he lost the control. That that's his not what, what that is not like a pretzel, please. <laughs> that like a pretzel at all. <laughs> I'm just watching you go. <laughs> and I'm like, that does not that look like a pretzel. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I see it in the vlog next week. <laughs> it is now Wednesday. And that means One Piece Day at Monster. Speaking of One Piece, I did get my participation for the online regional that I played in. Uh, in my online regional pack, I pulled a Mr. One. It's just the regional stamped. And then in my event pack five, I pulled the alternate art Koala, which is kind of cool. I don't think either of these cards see play in any decks, but it doesn't matter. Event pack stuff and, you know, stamp stuff is my thing, so... I like it. Now, it isn't lying to say that my confidence is at kind of like an all-time low when it comes to playing trading card games in general, just over my performance, you know, within the past few months. But I'm gonna keep pushing forward, try to move past it. So let's grab a hat, my backpack, and let's go play some Rob Lucci. Tables have already been posted, so uh, I am coming into Monster a little late. So uh, let's go in there and start playing some One Piece, shall we?
It's emitting power. What am I even looking at? It's a gray hand, that's what you're talking about. I know, I, all three of my games today, I never saw one. Oh, this is so awkward. Maybe I'll have one. Back to back purple Luffy, huh? Sounds about right. Sounds about right. <laughs> who, who you got to say over there, Chris? Put your jacket back on, dude. It's not that hot in here. Okay, 1-3 at One Piece Locals tonight. Nobody told me that it was Purple Night. There was just so much Reiju and Purple Luffy in the room. Like, I didn't know what was going on. And playing black, just not a good day. I was able to take a win off Reiju in round one. Round two, I played against somebody playing Marco. Extremely, extremely rude opponent. Lost. Was kind of tilted because of how rude my opponent was, but still. Round three, I ended up playing Chris, playing Purple Luffy. And round four, I ended up playing Luke also playing yeah, Purple Luffy, and I take L's in two very close games. Moving forward, I don't really know what I want to play, um, especially like locally if everybody's going to be playing Purple. Like I think I just go with Dofi and just start playing aggro. Maybe aggro is a solution to all of the problems I'm having lately with trading card games. Maybe I just have to go like super aggro and super turbo and like, you know, turn my brain off and not think and just go we'll see i have to be able to grab two of the dofi starter decks in order to play dofi and i need a list so i don't know we'll we'll figure it out we'll get there i think i'm gonna keep luchi like to the side now i don't want to drop it completely but i think if i play something a little more aggro i think i might be able to start kind of like building back up to the point where i was before the slump but we'll see i i need like 10 drop kaidos and a bunch of other stuff um so yeah, I guess I'll be looking for that stuff this week. You're placing these bags tonight, Kelly, or no? Okay. Oh, yeah. I bought them because they're one one. These are my absolute favorite candy like in the world. I, I love these things. I know. You have to buy the full bag. Yeah. I have to stock up yeah. around Halloween okay. to make sure that I have them. So you telling me they got Granny Smiths up in there now? Yeah, yeah. Got some Granny Smiths? <laughs> okay, so we are now at the end of this week, and I've just had a little bit of time to reflect on my week and kind of how poorly it's gone TCG-wise. As somebody who likes to compete at a high level and like likes that level of competition, it is kind of hard for me to unplug from that side of trading card games. And as of recent, I think that's where my issue lies, right? So I've already said it this year, like I am not worlds grinding. Uh, there have been multiple regionals that I have not attended. And I think that since I played in so many last year, it's kind of hard to like turn off that switch in my head, right? Because at the end of the day, like locals is not that competitive of a place. Like why am I getting so frustrated at locals? of all places. Locals is where you're supposed to be with your community and go have fun. And I think that I'm getting so caught up in the competition of everything that I am not doing that. So after having the rest of the week and just kind of reflecting on everything that happened, I feel, I guess like, a little silly for how like aggravated and frustrated that I was getting at my performance locally. Because again, it's locally, it's not one of these bigger events. And I think that's just what I have to remember moving forward for this season, right? Like I said, I'm not world grinding, so I'm not going to cups and challenges. I'm not playing as much as I used to play, especially last season. So moving forward, I'm just gonna take it week by week. I'm not gonna try to force anything. I don't want locals to feel like a chore, right? I want that to be a place where I go and have fun. So I want to make sure that I am kind of protecting that feeling of locals. As for One Piece, I just have to remember, I haven't really been playing that long like i started playing at the end of 05 early 06 format so i really haven't been playing too incredibly long like i still catch myself messing up and now it's good that i'm catching myself you know misplaying and things like that just because that means that i'm learning another thing i do with one piece is i jump decks a lot like as soon as something like cool comes out i'm like oh i want to try black luffy here you know i played luchi for a very long time i just need to stick with like one deck for a format and really like mold myself around it to make sure that 
you know, I know what I'm playing and make sure that I know the matchups as much as I possibly can. With that being said, Luke told me that aggro is the cure to all burnout. So I will probably be leaning on blue Dofi for the upcoming format. Uh, I'm going to pick up the structure decks and, you know, we'll see how it goes. But that's where we're at. We have a lot of really cool stuff coming up in the next few weeks when it comes to trading card games surging sparks pre-release starts i think next saturday if i'm not mistaken and then next saturday the 23rd i also have a manga luffy tournament at ttd in kentucky so there's a lot of cool stuff coming up i do want to give a huge shout out to our newest channel member walter bond wally welcome to the lab i appreciate the support i've already added you to like all the stuff on discord we already talked in there as always i hope you're having a great start to your week be great today and i'll see you next week